Apple Slash is a short, little game that packs a bold style and straightforward combat. This is precisely the type of game I love making videos for. I can't wait to tell you why. It starts off simple enough. A ton of enemies show up out of nowhere. Your brother is too scared to venture out, so it's up to you to figure out what's going on. One thing leads to another, and you're in the maze of the swamp, slashing away. A mini adventure with locked doors and areas that need special skills to get to, along with interesting characters and collectibles. The combat is so straightforward, but the amount of enemies matches the amount of slashing you need to do, and it's fun, a little mindless. It's enjoyable in the same way Dynasty Warriors is. One enemy alone is easy to deal with, but Apple Slash throws more at you to make it challenging. Gauntlets of tight corridors filled with enemies. Also, no lollygagging, because enemies respawn quickly. I've gotten caught a few times where I'm taking too long to kill the enemies, and they respawn. What a nightmare. So be bold and make quick work of them. The good news is that your attack will stun enemies, but the range is short. Positioning yourself so that you can stun them all is the best way to do it. That way you don't have to worry about one bouncing into you. I've also made the mistake and gotten too close myself and bumped into them. It's hectic and hard to tell how close I am. There's a ton of slashing in Apple Slash. And in fact, you attack even faster if you mash the button. Anyway, Apple Slash does this cool thing where the gems that enemies drop are useful in two ways. First, they are used to heal, and it's the only way to do so. 100 are consumed for a small amount of health. It also has an animation that takes some time, so it's not like popping a healing potion in the middle of a fight. I struggled to find safe places during combat to use it, so it's best to heal up before any fighting. Second, the gems are used to power up your attack. Collecting them increases a bar that, when it's full, increases your attack speed and power. It's advantageous. But if you take damage, the bar will drop and you'll lose your powered state. I like how it works and it adds stress to taking damage since you'll need to continue combat even longer, which leaves you open to taking more damage. Yet, it's only about collecting them and using the gems for health has no effect on the buff when it seems like it should. Traveling through the swamp, you can find three new skills. Well, four, but the last one is required for getting through parts of the swamp, and I don't want to spoil anything. So, the other three are useful finds, but it's difficult to tell how much damage they actually hit for. They don't feel more potent than the regular attack, and the skills have a long cooldown which makes them feel more powerful than they are. I'm sure you can finish the game without using any of them, but I did use them because they're kind of cool to watch on screen. Overall, Apple Slash is terrific. One of those simple games where the developer put a ton of love into it, and you'll feel it when you play. But after finishing, you're dying for it to keep going. I wish there was more. I didn't want it to end. Apple Slash is only 45 minutes to an hour of gameplay. Although, I wouldn't mind playing through again to see if I missed anything. It also helps that the music and sound effects are so good. I need more games like this. Thank you, thank you. Apple Slash was a lovely game, but what should I play next? Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe.